become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we continue with the Sergio Oliva Golden Era series focusing on the blueprint to the myth. Today's uh, video we're going to focus on his incredible V-taper and how he developed it. In particular, we're going to look at his incredible waistline. Sergio was known as the myth for his unreal proportions and part of the reason he was also called the myth was because of his impossible incredible tiny waist um, displayed beautifully here in this in this Sergio's pose Sergio's most iconic pose the victory pose which he absolutely owned he definitely owned this pose and that V taper is absolutely clear as day to see those thick arms the wide shoulders that sweeping back tapering down to that tiny tiny waist it's incredible that V taper that uh, Sergio possessed and no wonder when he threw that victory pose it was his and the crowd went wild now today we will focus on his routine for his midsection and learn how early on in his bodybuilding career he developed his small muscular waistline and kept it throughout all his bodybuilding years now, early on in his bodybuilding career, if you've already seen my videos, you will have learned that the first kind of program that uh, Sergio used was um, the PHA training system as taught by Bob Guider. However, progress stalled quickly for Sergio, and according to Gene Mosey in an interview, he started uh, looking at the Golden and Silver Era legends and their style of training. As portrayed here, we've got um, Steve Reeves. Steve Reeves was actually, as well as John Grimmick, one of Sergio's true heroes. And he copied his routines, as well as Dave Draper's, Larry Scott's, Harold Pools, and John Grimmick's. And he started basically picking the, the, the bits that most suited his style of training. And he developed a straight set, set system that really suited his own physique. And in particular, um, he really liked the look of Steve Reeves. Um, he modeled his own physique very much so on Steve Reeves's V taper. And if you've read his book, you'll realize how important of an influence Steve Reeves was actually to Sergio Oliva. Now, Sergio was often asked what was the secret to his tiny, tiny waistline. And as much as you hate to hear it, the secret is that he was born that way. He was born with a tiny, tiny waist. Sergio started weightlifting prior to his bodybuilding career and didn't even take care of his waist. It's ridiculous. The man was simply a genetic freak, blessed with fast metabolism. And I mean, if you saw what he ate, you would just flip. I mean, this guy ate pizzas, hamburgers, beans, coke, rice, anything. And it, it he was just pure muscle. And worst of all, he had a small hip bone structure, which is then no surprise why his thighs were bigger than his waist. One of the few bodybuilders to ever achieve that. And I hate to say it, but the reason why Sergio has such a tiny waist is just simple. It's his phenomenal genetics. I mean, people have asked me about the myth and I say the myth was called the myth because he may not even have had hips for God's sake. I mean, literally he may have not had, had a hip bone structure at all. Where is it? Where is his hips? He's got no hips. No wonder his waist is so goddamn tiny. He was just a genetic freak and that's as simple as that. Now, along with being blessed with a tiny, tiny hip structure, um, Sergio did obviously focus on his abdominals, on developing them um, once he started his bodybuilding career, as seen in this 1965 abdominals routine. For example, he used the inclined sit-up to develop his upper abdominals and the inclined uh, leg raise for developing his lower abdominals, as clearly seen in this awesome shot where he's basically uh, flexing his abs and thighs. He also used, very similar to Frank Zane, the, um, the hanging leg raise for lengthening the, the, um, the muscles of the abdominal so that they don't basically, the, the stomach doesn't protrude out and you have a long, slim waistline. And something else that he did, which is similar, very similar to Frank Zane, to Arnold Schwarzenegger, and most of the golden era bodybuilders, again, that's who he molded himself on, was using seated twists. And most golden era bodybuilders would do hundreds, if not thousands of these repetitions because the sitter twist is well known for muscularizing and having a tightening effect around the waistline. And now Sergio having such a tiny hip structure and then further tightening it up with seated twists and muscularizing it with the um, 
before uh, the the before listed already exercises can you imagine no wonder Sergio had such a wonderful waistline it was it was it was small and it was very muscular and worst of all worst of all he did not perform vacuums I'd like to see a single photo of Sergio Oliva pre uh, performing a proper vacuum in any pose even the victory pose you will see that he only holds his stomach in but he does not necessarily perform a vacuum he will tighten up his waistline which was already small and he didn't even need to do a vacuum anyway because his waistline was already so small the illusion was already there that's why he was called the myth the myth is the myth because of his incredible proportions so there you have it the secret to Sergio's impossibly tiny waist is shown in this awesome shot that I keep showing again and again from 1963 I believe uh, where Sergio is just doing a front double biceps and you can see his genetics are just phenomenal not only is he blessed with a wide shoulder girdle with with a fantastic ability to pack on muscle in the right places but he's got a tiny tiny waist I mean his genetics were just incredible no wonder he was called the myth I hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era book room thank you for watching and leave me your comments and I hope that you are enjoying this small series on the Sergio Oliva um, V taper how he developed his incredible V taper if you'd like to donate please use PayPal my my um, my details are below in the description and if you'd like to become a patron and support me, um, I do um, have a Patreon account, www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm, where you have access to photos, rare photos, um, articles, and hard to find books. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the golden era bookworm. Bye for now.